Hey guys, Steven here with ProTech. Welcome to the Shooting Range, also known as ProTech Firearms Academy. This is an overall view of the range. You can see on the far left we've got our South Valley. In the middle we've got our Platinum Valley or Long Range Valley. And then on the right, on the far right, is our Standard Valley or West Valley. And we're going to zoom in and kind of lower ourselves down. You can see Grandpa Don down there mowing the grass around the house. You've got three main buildings there. The closest building to the driveway entrance, that's the holster shop. That's where you'll pull in and sign up. There's a little sign-in kiosk uh, right there for new members and returning members to sign up and re-up their membership or start their membership. <clears throat> After you've gotten your membership for that 365 day year, standard members will enter the driveway and follow it on westward down towards the West Valley and that's where we're going to go first. That building there with the green Jeep next to it, that's the holster shop. That's where you'll get your membership. So, And I'm learning this new drone so bear with me as, uh, as we take this tour together. So you'll follow the driveway on down the hill, parallels the road as you see, and this is where all the standard members can go shoot. And you'll see there's a big shotgun field there on the left. That's where we've got a hand trap to launch clay pigeons and shoot clay pigeons out of the air. And then there's a little structure there. That's uh, Underneath that is the rifle bench, and there are rifle backstops out to 200 yards. We'll show you here in a minute. This is the shotgun range, a little close-up area. You can see the, the thrower and the field. And then little areas for, uh, for shooters to stand and lean their guns up against the posts. Now we're coming over to the rifle bench and then the pistol area. And you can see there's several, several benches there to set your gear down onto. But the firing line is actually in front of those benches, even with the front of the rifle bench. So we'll go over to the pistol area first, and you can see there's a little sign there that says firing line. You want to stand just behind that, and there's a little target stand there at 5 yards, so you can staple, staple your paper targets up to. Then there's another one at 20 yards, and then off to the right, there's one at 50 yards. <clears throat> Typically, pistol shooters will shoot at the 5 yarder and the 20 yarder. And then for the rifle shooters, you can see from the rifle range bench, there's a 100-yard target backer in the middle of the screen, and then on the far left, there's a 200-yarder. So you can shoot 20, 50, 100, or 200 with the rifle range. And uh, this is just a little closer view of the 1 and 200-yard target backers. Now we're going to go back up the driveway, back the way we came, and we're going to go out the driveway, which is the way we want our patrons to go, preferably. Stay on the gravel, bare minimum, always stay on the gravel, don't ever get off of the gravel onto the dirt uh, tracks or trails. We use those for, uh, for all of our service vehicles and, and to uh, drive around on the property, but we ask all our patrons to stay on the gravel. So for our premium members, you'll go back out to the intersection and turn right like we're doing now. And you'll go on to 300 west, and then you'll turn right again, and then you'll parallel 300 west and follow that driveway that runs parallel to the road off to the left here. I'm trying not to hit any trees. There we go. Okay, and we'll follow this driveway parallel to 300 on down the hill. This is called the South Valley. Now the South Valley is where all of our premium range members can go shoot. And premium members can also shoot on the standard range in the West Valley. So basically whatever membership package you get, you have access to the lower membership packages as well. Okay, so we made it to the bottom of the hill. There's a big parking lot where that white van is sitting. <clears throat> And you'll see in the middle of the screen, there's a big covered shooting pavilion. That's the pistol pavilion. Then off to the right of that is the rifle range. We're going to take a closer look at those. In the pistol pavilion, you'll see a deep freezer on the left-hand side. 
That deep freezer has a bunch of range supplies in it, but mainly it's got the sign-in, sign-out sheet on it. Uh, premium members will need to sign in and sign out on that. Now the pistol pavilion is for pistols only, uh, and it's a 10-lane uh, shooting pavilion about 20 yards deep. Off to the right of that is a rifle range, and you can see we've got four shooting benches there, and we've got target backers at 50 yards, 100 yards, and then all the way down at 150 yards. You see the firing line there. <clears throat> So there's the 50 yarder on the right, and then the 100 yarder in the middle, and then that great big berm at the back, that's 150 yards. You'll also see a little orange steel plate to the bottom right of the 150 yard backer. That's an AR500 steel plate. You can see we're working on the 50 yard backstop. We recently converted it from dirt to uh, the same concrete material that we're using on all of our safety berms. That big long berm on the left, that's a safety berm for the areas I'll be showing you here in a moment. Now we're coming over to the rimfire bay. Notice all of the little steel targets in there that you can shoot with your 22s. Rimfire targets are all painted red. That's how we designate the rimfire targets. And uh, Parents love bringing their kids in here and ringing the steel. There's a little plate table. You can pull that string and set up the plates. Some of them are knocked down right now. There's a little dueling tree and a bunch of little swingers. It's a lot of fun. Now we're going to head on down the driveway on the other side of that safety berm. And we're going to look at some pistol bays. You'll notice the pistol steel targets, which we'll see here in a moment, are all painted white. Now this, this bay here uh, in the middle of the screen that is uh, under development. It's going to be a forward shooting moving house that Omar has been working on for a little while now. And then to the left of that, we've got our pistol steel bays. Now, this used to be a cowboy action range, so that's why pistol is spelled wrong, as you'll see here. Uh, but inside these bays, we've got plate tables and silhouettes and dueling trees and all kinds of fun stuff. And those plate tables, you just pull the string on them and it'll set up six steel plates. And you can shoot with your buddies. One can stand in one window and one in the other. And you can, guy, you can race and see who can knock them down the fastest. And this is just another bay, steel bay two. And there's a bowling pin, plate rack, and other silhouettes. And somebody painted those targets orange, which is not good. We're going to have to get down there and paint those white. Okay, now on past those, we're, we're going to enter into our 360-degree arena, also called the MPR, multi-purpose range. Now, the 360 is a 65-yard deep by 20-yard wide, fully enclosed shooting arena. Now, we have all of our patrons typically shoot westward, maybe a little bit to the north and a little bit to the south. Um, but if we're in there doing specialized training with vehicles and rooms and barricades and team tactics and stuff like that, then we may end up using the full 360. But this is a nice bay to go into and, uh, and set up different things. See all the barrels behind the, behind the bay? Patrons are allowed to go get those barrels and set up barricades and what have you. There's a couple of little rifle benches in there um, to shoot with. And there's uh, several orange AR-500 rifle rated targets. So all the centerfire rifle targets are painted orange. So we got red, white, and orange. This area is called the Steel Valley. <clears throat> it has four of the eight sanctioned Steel Challenge stages in it. Steel Challenge is a worldwide uh, shooting association. It's a SCSA, Steel Challenge Shooting Association. And year-round, we will have four of the eight stages set up and ready to practice on for any Steel Challenge shooters. Uh, any shooter can add this package to their membership for an added fee. And here we are zooming in on stage one. It's stages one, two, three, and four. So it's nice. Competitors can just walk on, put the shooting box on the ground, uh, put the tarp down and go to practicing and when they're done all they got to do is pick up their brass and put it in the bucket and uh, fold the tarp up and and head on home and down at the uh, far end of it there's a uh, safety berm and then on the other side of that safety berm is a little parking area for competitors to park at
and we host a match every second Saturday. Okay, now we're going to go back out the driveway. The driveway to the Steel Valley parallels the right side of the 360-degree arena. So we're going to go back out the driveway, a little bit more of an aerial view here, and back out to the road. Property on the other side of the road used to be owned by my grandpa. That, that pond there is the first pond I ever fished in. Our, the new owners, uh, they're kind enough to let us continue fishing there. Okay, there's Grandpa Don making his way around on the mower. Okay, now we're going to go down the other driveway off of 300. This is the driveway to our Long Range Valley, or Platinum Membership. Platinum Membership uh, gains access to the Long Range. You can see we've got a patron over there shooting right now. I tried to pick a time when nobody is typically at the range, so a weekday morning, early in the morning, and uh, I'm going to try to not disturb this guy too much. But uh, this is a project that we started in 2018 where we cut several hundred trees down through the woods. We basically cut about a 15-yard wide path through the woods, gaining us a 500-yard line of sight. And uh, the bench the bench is located back off the edge of that hill, so from the shooting position, all you can see, you can start to see the 300-yard backstop. But the bullet trajectory actually goes about 30, 40 feet above uh, or overhead uh, of the back end of the 360-degree arena, as you can see there. So we'll fly down and take a closer look. There's two shooting benches back there. One is, is running in line with the direction of fire, and one is perpendicular. You can see the shooter was sitting at the one perpendicular, so that's the sitting bench. And then the other bench, you can actually lay down on top of it to shoot prone. You can see a couple of uh, a, a VTAC board down there and a simulated roof uh, and a barricade. We also host an NRL match every month, and those are props used for that. Uh, and that's every fourth Saturday, I believe. So we're coming up on the 300-yard backstop now. You can see the target backer and an orange plate to shoot with your rifle. And you can see you can drive your vehicle most of the way back. You can drive to the 3 and about halfway to the 4. And we've got a little bridge uh, eroded there. But there's the 400-yarder. And we've got a couple trees down. We just had a storm come through, so apparently we need to go get back there and, and cut those up. And then all the way back here, you can see the white target backer. That's the 500. Okay, now we're going to head back out, and again, patrons can drive to the end of the gravel, but we ask folks to, to stop after the gravel because it just ruts the ground up too much if folks are driving on the dirt and in the grass. So we're going to go way up high here and get more of an aerial view. There you can see the entire premium range and the steel valley all at the same time, and you can see the uh, shooting position of the of the Platinum Range, and that hill that it's up on top of is about oh, 60 feet, 50, 60 feet tall, I estimate. And then off to the left is the Standard Range or the West Valley. Now we're coming back up onto the holster shop and the house and the, and the two storage buildings, the barns. And I'm actually standing down here in the driveway with Omar now. Grandma Deb's on the mower. And he and I and one of our range patrons are standing down here talking. But when you pull in the driveway right there in the middle of the screen, you pull up to uh, one of the parking spots and then walk over to the holster shop in the middle of the screen. Right there at the front door of the holster shop, you'll see the sign-in kiosk. And that's where you sign in to become a member. We don't do it online um, for a few reasons, but the main one being you can't join or you don't really want to join until your first day of shooting anyways to give you the maximum amount of membership. Plus we accept cash and check as forms of payment, so we just do it all on site. So we'll wave at you here and thank you guys for watching. Stay safe.